All right, here's a bummer of an article. So IRS doubles down, investing another quarter million dollars into tracking crypto transactions. So I'm just going to tell you this. If you are not based in the United States, you just want to skip over this because this is just us dealing with some craziness that is the government trying to crack down and squeeze every last dime out of us. So if you're not in the U.S., just go ahead and uh, fast forward to the next piece, which is all about Coinbase and how you can make some extra money. But if you are in the United States, let's take a listen. So on September 8th, the IR on September 8th, this was not too long ago. What's the day? 10th? Yeah, two days ago. The IRS's criminal investigation department signed a quarter of a million contract with a blockchain analytics firm to expand its crypto tracing tools. This follows an overarching trend of the IRS stepping up its game when it comes to crypto. Look, we're all in the game. We're all trying to minimize our taxes and do the best that we possibly can. And, uh, you know, the IRS has got their little PowerPoints, too. And like, look, you can try to uh, evade us or minimize us or whatever you want to do. Our job is to make sure that we shake you down <laughs> as much as possible. And that's just how the game is played. Anyhow, moving on. The firm behind the contract, Blockchain Analytics and Tax Software, their only prior government contract was for a little less than ten grand with the U.S. Treasury for serving as an expert witness. And somehow they got this sweet contract with a quarter of a million dollars. So, hey, good for them. Just last week, the IRS put out a request for submissions for a pilot program to track crypto transactions. That's always nice. IRS investigative capabilities played a major role in a massive seizure of crypto bound for terrorist networks last month. And I got to make mention of this, you know, kudos to them for, you know, finding terrorist organization that was using cryptocurrency. Fantastic. But there was a new article out and it just talks about Swift says Swift, our favorite software for the legacy bank system, says that criminals much prefer cash for money laundering, not crypto, because Cash is king. Cash is easy. It's very hard to track cash. Believe me, I played the game before and uh, it's much simpler for every kind of online transaction. They can find that all day long, but cash, very tough. So I don't see why they wouldn't want to use cash anyhow. Let them use cash. That's what's been using the whole time. They still got a bad name of it. What are you going to do? And to finish up, meanwhile, this year's tax forms in the U.S. will put the question of whether a taxpayer Use crypto in 2020 front and center. It's going to look something like this. This is actually 2019, but you're going to see this question. If at any time during 2019 did you receive, sell, send, exchange, or otherwise acquire any financial interest in any virtual currency, which is a very loose term, I might add. And uh, I put yes because I don't want to deal with it. Like I said, I have been through an audit. It'll make you cry. It is just so much problems that you have to deal with. You have to go to the IRS office. You have to wheel in all your, your uh, receipts. You have to go over every single line. It just sucks. So I just said, yes, I'm going to deal with it. And um, this was also a letter sent out uh, from August 14th, 2020. This wasn't to me. I found this on Twitter. And this is from the IRS and it says, why we're writing to you. We have information that you have or had one or more accounts containing virtual currency but may not have properly reported your transactions <laughs> involving virtual currency, which include crypto and non-crypto virtual. So they're going to tell you what you need to do. You're going to have to amend that and go through all this problem, blah, blah, blah. So here's what I'm going to tell you. If you've gone through any exchanges, you've done any kind of AML, anti-money laundering, or KYC, know your customer kind of act, where you have put in your social or your some type of government ID or your driver's license or you put any kind of personal information into an exchange, uh, they report all that to the to the IRS office. Don't shoot the messenger. That's just the way the game is played. Now, if you want to get out of this rat race and try to figure out, you know, like how do I not have to pay so many gosh darn taxes? Well, I did a great video and it talks about how I'm not going to pay Zippo in taxes and how you can too. Uh, I will link that at the very end of this video so you can check that out. But let's go on to the next story. <laughs> 